Oh, getting a picture of my hand there. Hi, this is Freeman Sullivan, and I'm broad live streaming uh, from 575 Market Street, uh, site of the uh, foreclosure defense of Yin Wong. It's a brisk and blustery day out here, July day in San Francisco. Temperatures are in the low 60s, and I have a jacket on. And uh, we've seen a few people out here that are showing up for our eviction events. There's a lady that she's passing out some information. Uh, the bank is located here in this skyscraper office building, uh, 575 Market. It's PNC Bank, which is an Asian-based bank, uh, based, I believe, in Hong Kong. So we're out here live streaming the foreclosure defense. We want to let everybody know that uh, PNC Bank has been involved in a number of illegal foreclosures. Uh, the most recent one that ACE, the uh, Alliance of Californians for Community Involvement, or Empowerment, I'm sorry. Uh, that's their uh, acronym, ACE, A-C-C-E. And Occupy Bernal has uh, passed on the information that uh, this is the second foreclosure, illegal foreclosure, that they know about uh, that PNC Bank has undertaken. And generally, where, uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. And probably PNC Bank has probably got a huge stack of illegal foreclosures uh, in their paperwork right now, uh, which probably generates many, many hundreds, thousands of computer files. And those foreclosures are probably split up into millions of different tiny pieces into what are known as derivatives to be resold as uh, on the uh, stock market. Um, gambling with your money. Uh, if you have any money invested in uh, any one of the larger banking houses, I would say take your money out because it's worthless. Uh, these banking houses don't really care. Anyway, I'm Freeman Sullivan, and you can reach me at Freeman Sullivan on Twitter. Um, if you'd like to chat with me here on the live stream, uh, please go to the Ustream page and log into the social stream, and I can read your texts right up here on my screen as I am filming. And I'd appreciate it if you drop me a note to let me know uh, the quality of my stream. Oh, no, nobody on chat yet. Anyway, this site is being mirrored on obau.org uh, and a few other sites. I believe it's going to be up on Global Revolution Television, globalrev.tv. Uh, they should be monitoring this this live stream and posting it on their site, mirroring. And uh, we're happy to have you here today. So far, I've only seen a few people here, a couple of Occupy people. And I believe I see Miss Wong. I'm going to go up and see if I can get an interview from her in a minute. We're right in the heart of downtown San Francisco, uh, right by Montgomery Street Station. So if you're uh, if you're down here, uh, come on. If you're in San Francisco, uh, come on down. Uh, we're at the Montgomery Bart Station at 575 Market, and we love to have you here and uh, at our foreclosure defense, which has been organized by Occupy Bernal and ACE, which is the Allied of Californians for Community Empowerment. There we go. I'll remember that soon. This is a skyscraper where the bank is, the San Francisco branch of the bank is located. Just a second, viewers. There we go, back again. Sorry about that. We actually haven't started the protest per se. Uh, I would ask if anybody's watching, uh, please refrain from calling me or texting me uh, because the text leaves that noise on the live stream, which is very irritating. I should have shut it off, but it's too late now. Uh, definitely don't call me, because you will take me off the stream. If you'd like to communicate, please log on to my Ustream page, which is ustream.tv slash channels slash Occupy San Francisco, long word, and log on to social stream, and uh, you'll be able to communicate with me via chat which I can read up on my screen.
and I would appreciate it very much if you'd let me know what's going on. Uh, Courtney, we're at 575 Market Street at the Montgomery Park Station. Uh, actually, uh, I'd welcome if you want to come down and join me. Anyway, we're down here in support of Miss Yin Wong, uh, who is disabled and who is trying to renegotiate her mortgage. Uh, she has enough money to pay the mortgage, but evidently PNC Bank is refusing to negotiate with her. And I believe I see her over there. And I'm going to try and get in. <laughs> and again, for all those that are texting me, please don't text me anymore, as I can't receive them. If you want to get a hold of me, please log on to my Ustream page, ustream.tv slash channels slash Occupy San Francisco. Log on to the social stream and you will be able to contact me there as my uh, producer hasn't shown up with his phone and so you won't be able to call me or get a hold of me and I'm not going to go out and buy a second phone for this crap. Not yet anyway. And I do welcome all the viewers here. Uh, we're being mirrored on globalrev.tv, occupytogether.org, uh, and obau.org, which is Occupy Bay Area United's home uh, website. So I'd like to welcome you all here. If you have a comment that you would like to make, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Just log on to the social stream and leave a message. And uh, Courtney, if you do head on over here, uh, I'd be more than happy to join you and we could get more better coverage. Thanks. I always like to work together with other live streamers. And uh, it's not for me, it's not about how many people that I get on my live stream. It's about how well that we can cover these events to provide you, the viewer, with a more accurate representation of what's going on. And try to get the. Uh, Hang on, we have a sergeant over here, I believe, that's talking with the demonstrators. So I'm going to creep on over there and see if I can. Are you um, Ms. Wong? Okay. Yeah. yeah. There we go. We have Ms. Ms. Wong here. <laughs> right. This is for your defense. We're live streaming it, okay. and we're out on the. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. When you get over here, I'd like to get a chance to talk. Yeah. yeah. I am. Good. <laughs> so we're being uh, we're being carried all over the world right now. Uh, Third Street? No, uh, Third Street's another two blocks up. Thank you. Let me get a chance. There's no rush. I'll be here for a while. Not only the San Francisco PD uh, representative is taking people's names, but. I'm trying to text out here. So if the phone's a little shaky, just please forgive me. Oh, 
There we go. We're down here at 575 Market out uh, here in uh, San Francisco. Uh, please come down and join us. Uh, we'll be here until uh, a little bit after 2 p.m. And we'd love to hear from you. We've got a few occupiers. Uh, this event is being sponsored by the Alliance of Californians for Community Empowerment and Occupy Bernal. Let's back up a little bit here. Uh, we've got approximately 15, uh, 20 people, and the numbers are growing real quick. People here that were here, uh, that nice lady that we were talking to earlier, uh, her name is uh, Yin Wang, and she's trying to renegotiate her mortgage with PNC Bank. So uh, that's the reason why we're here, and we're here to defend her home, and we hope that uh, you'll send a call out to PNC Bank to let them know how uh, unfair that we believe that Ms. Uh, Wong's treatment is. Oh, I noticed a few, uh, couple of people here with Occupy Bernal. That's from Bernal Heights in San Francisco. Hey, there you go. How you doing? Yeah, not too bad. We're live on uh, Global Web TV, and we're being mirrored. And I've actually got more viewers now than I think I've ever had doing this. So I'm kind of happy about that. That's cool, that's cool. Right? Well, we have a, pretty much this is the only thing that's going on right now in this time slot. So, you know, I'm excited. Tomorrow's is going to be uh, off the hook for all you people that are viewing. Uh, we're going to be at Univision uh, uh, headquarters here in San Francisco. Uh, live streaming uh, uh, hashtag YoSoy132 which is the protest against the Mexican um, MSM coverage of their recently fixed elections. So that's going to be a worldwide protest at every uh, Univision headquarters around the United States and the world. Uh, and San Francisco is going to be one of those locations. So if you're around tomorrow, um, if, and you would, would like to, uh, you can check me out at this same Ustream channel, and I'll be live streaming at around 6 p.m. So... What's going on here? Yeah, you're here. Uh, for those of us are joining us, what's this? What's uh, we, uh, well, this is a foreclosure defense of a lady named Ms. Wong, and she's the she's standing over there on the other side where the camera is. Anyway, she's been trying to uh, uh, negotiate with PNC Bank on her mortgage uh, because B, uh, PNC uh, Bank recently gave her a foreclosure notice, and she's trying to. Uh, renegotiate with them and they refuse to renegotiate so uh, that's why we're here uh, to provide some uh, foreclosure provide a foreclosure defense for her and is this, uh, uh, just like an ordinary foreclosure case what makes this case well it's illegal illegal huh? well, yeah because uh, because PNC Bank should have should have allowed them to renegotiate their lease and they went ahead and tried to foreclose it anyway. So they were given no opportunity to do not at all. Was in their contract? Is that not at all. Well, it's not a contract, it's a mortgage. And no, they're not letting them renegotiate the mortgage. Right? Are they letting them pay the mortgage? No. So they're not, they, they were, this isn't a matter of delinquency, this is a matter of no, they just stopped accepting payments. Right. And uh, Ms. Wong has plenty of, uh, you know, she's, she's solvent. And again, um, I'm going to ask all those people that are trying to text me to please stop uh, because or I'm going to have to uh, shut down the live stream and turn off my uh, my text and I would rather just keep the live stream up and running. Um, I realize you're trying to get a hold of me. Um, if you'd like to, uh, please go to my Ustream page and log on to the social stream and, uh, and chat with me and let me know what's up. But uh, no, there's not going to be a march. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, it is channel instead of channels. Uh, Ustream uh, TV slash channel slash San Francisco, Occupy San Francisco. Anyway, uh, the bank is open and they are doing business. And uh, just to let everybody know, it is uh, bankers hours today. And we're glad to be here. And we're starting to develop into a small crowd. Uh, all my videos... Yeah, all my videos are 
Oh, I know why I'm getting. I know why my uh, text is going off. It's because I get texts to let me know when somebody's tweeting on my. Uh, that's using my handle at Freeman Sullivan or is tweeting out my Ustream channel. So, yeah, that's what it is. You know. Yeah, so go ahead and tweet. I don't mind. Uh, I might shut this down for a few minutes, for a minute or two, uh, just to shut up my uh, my texts. So I'll let you know. And I'm here with my uh, my producer, human being. How you doing? Right. And he's here, and he's going to be doing a little cell phone video of what's going on for our OBAU website. We're being mirrored at obau.org, globalweb.tv, and occupytogether.org. So we'd like to welcome you here together uh, today. It's a little brisk out here in San Francisco. How so, many people would you say here at this gathering? Uh, we got about 15, 20 maybe. Well, we'd like to welcome everybody who's sweating to death in the hot climates because it is definitely chilly. Well, they start speeding up when they start seeing that there's a protest, right? Because a lot of them work for these places that we're protesting against. Who are we talking about now? The, the weather? No, the workers. People start speeding up when they see a protest, right? Oh, so they're walking down the street and as they come across a protest, they speed up to try to ignore it? Yeah, because a lot of them work for the, the places that we're protesting against. Is that an example of, uh, what, what is that? Is that a result of preconditioning or something like that? Or disillusionment? What is Guilt. that? Guilt, huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to help. Oh, you got that? Okay, just trying to light a cigarette here. Yeah, well, I'll get it. Don't let anybody know about my bad habits, now. As you can see, we got a little crowd here. There's a lot of people walking by. Just gonna, uh, trying to uh, avoid it. There's a little bit of activity going on here. Pacific National National. What are, what are these flyers people are passing out? Well, why don't you grab one? All right. So see this lady will tell us what's going on here. How about that? Yeah, we have about 20 people here. Yeah, uh, Courtney, if you'd elaborate a little bit more on that march. Talk a, a little bit about this to the internet. We got like live streaming going on here. We're oh, okay. Live, so I don't know how many how many people are watching right now. Oh, uh, uh, there's about 200, I guess, yeah, all around, all the way. Watching. 13 on my channel, and it's being mirrored on GlobalRev.tv and, and Occupy Together, and wow. So. Well, we're we're out here fighting. And your name is? My name's Diane Ross. Nice to meet you, I live Diane. In Bernal Heights, and we're part of Occupy Bernal in San Francisco Ace. And we're fighting for the average homeowner who is getting screwed by banks. And we have one here today, um, Ian Wong, who sadly was making regular mortgage payments. The bank she was making the payments to got purchased by another bank. And then suddenly the payments weren't being transferred to the new bank. So then the new bank, somebody to make her mortgage payments, wants to take her house away. And they're just not paying attention to the fact that they screwed up. So it takes a bunch of us out here to protest, to draw attention to the bank, so they're like, pay attention to her. You know, they deal with, they don't care, it's just pieces of paper to them. So to get them focused on this one. Well, I mean, what did she, what did the bank say when she went in and... They're just giving her the runaround. Like, oh, well, okay, we'll look into it. Look into it. You know, and then nothing happens. She's continuing to get foreclosure notices? Yes. So anyway, that's why so we're, we're out here. trying to get some people to make phone calls. If you would call the CEO of this bank. All right, why don't you give him the number give here? The number. His name is James Aurora, and the number is 412-762-2294. And tell them, please stop foreclosing on Yin Wong and her daughter and keep them in their home. Okay, what was that number again? The phone number is 762, this is four, sorry, 412, 412, 762, 762, 2294, 2294, and, and her loan number, it's good, so negotiate with the resident Yin Wong, that's for Yin Wong, Yin Wong and her daughter, and their loan number is 000204-3100.
and they, to keep the family in their home. Okay, so call this guy. I'll take, I'll take one of these. Call photos. that guy. Call James Roar. James Roar. Called James Roar. Oh, we're not going to be able to see oh, it. Okay, okay. At 412 762 2294. This is the CEO of this company that's exactly, foreclosing. Right in here. And it's a, it's is a, he here right now? Have you guys spotted well, him? Well, they're today? based out of Minneapolis, I believe, right? Yes. Oh, are they? So he's, some, he's, he's out of state. Or, or Pennsylvania. 412, that sounds like Minneapolis, yeah. I would think. So we got to, you know, but wherever you are, if you're watching this, go ahead and call this number and hassle this guy. Tell him to stop foreclosing illegally that's what this is about I guess yeah, yeah. okay and, and there are a whole lot of other people in similar situations that if the banks would just pay attention they could renegotiate their loan and they could make payments and they could stay in their house so if you want to get involved go to occupyvernal.org there you go and you'll see some resources and ways to get involved alrighty because it's only by people power that will make a dent in this Excellent. because as far as these banks are concerned they're just pieces of paper great great, great. Thank thanks a lot, a lot. Oh, well, you're welcome thank you cool. yeah I'm making a real effort uh, to uh, do a lot more live streaming I'm feeling uh, a lot more uh, physically fit and uh, the more physically fit I feel the more live streams that I'm going to be able to come out here and do cool. Cool. that's great yeah we need to expand our that we have to make the media uh, because we can't depend upon the MSM. Like this isn't an, like important enough for them to come out because uh, you know no, uh, if it doesn't bleed. It doesn't lead on the news. Yeah, really. Right. I just, yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree. So we're out here making our own. Excellent. Thank God for smartphones. No kidding. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. All right. Thanks for talking to us.